Okay, let's work the front of the thighs. So grab a towel, roll it up, and put it between your thighs. That's gonna help engage those inner thighs. Now feet in parallel position, come up on the toes, releve, tuck the pelvis under, engaging the core, shoulders over the hips, and now lower yourself down. From there, I want you to take it down an inch and up an inch, down an inch, up an inch, squeezing those inner thighs, keeping that pelvis tucked, it's down and up. Now remember, you can go at whatever level you want. The higher you come up, the easier it is. So if you want it tough, keep it down. Down an inch, up an inch. Find your edge. Find what works for you. Give me four more. Down and up and down. Last two. Now hold it down here. Just squeeze the inner thighs. Squeeze that towel. Squeeze it and squeeze it. Squeeze the inner thighs. Squeeze the towel, squeeze and hold, squeeze and hold, squeeze and hold, squeeze and hold. Each time, squeeze and hold. Make it tighter. It's really working right now. Sculpting those thighs. Four more, four and three. You can come up at any time. Last one, now take it down. Take it down an inch, up an inch, down an inch, up an inch, we're almost there. We're gonna end with spring ups. Looks like this. Spring it, spring it, spring it. Push off the toes, push off. Just give me 10 more, you can do it. 10, nine, eight, keep the tuck. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Bend it out, take the towel out, shake out those legs, and remember, if you need to rest a few repetitions, no problem. We're really doing some deep toning in those thighs. From here, Feet together, fan out the feet, come up on the toes, walk until your heels are touching each other. From there, knees go over the toes, slide down, tuck the pelvis, long spine, take it down and up, down and up. Again, finding your edge. Some people can go a little deeper, some people might be right up here. This might be the day that you're gonna be right up here. Otherwise, take it down and up and down and up, down and up. Now hold it here and tuck it under. Tuck, release, tuck, release, tuck, release, tuck. Give me four more and three, last two, last one. And again, take it down and up. Squeeze the heels together. Each time you go up, squeezing those heels together, high on your toe. Hold it here right now. Hold it, almost there, squeeze the heels. Give me four more, four, three, two, and one. Straighten out the legs, shake it up. <laughs> can you feel that, whoa. You can just feel it working those muscles. Let's take it into a wide second position. From here, turn it out, slide down, tailbone is long, knees are over the feet, and take it down and up. Continuing to work the front of the thigh, now just hold it down here and take those legs, press them back and back and back, back, press it back. There you go. Pressing, really working. 10 more, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's bring the left heel up, come up in that left heel and pulse it out. Pulse it down and up. Down, give me a little, little lower, little lower. Take it down and up and down, let's switch sides. Down and up, pulse it low, another inch lower. Chest is up, abdominals are lifted. Last two, last one, come all the way up. All right, you did it. Shake out those hips, walk the feet together, just shake them side to side. Let all the blood get back in there. Circle the hips around, bend the knees slightly. Circle them the other way. And now let's stretch out the front of the leg. Come to the chair and grab onto your foot. Bend the standing leg, tuck the hips under and press your foot into your palm of your hand as you press those hips forward. Feel that great stretch through all the muscles we just worked. Okay, release it, let's do the other side. Support yourself on your chair. Bend the standing leg, tuck the hips under, hand presses into the palm, 
as you tuck those hips. Great work. Oh my gosh, sexy, long, gorgeous strength in those legs. Okay, let's work the back of the leg now. We're working into the hamstring. Grab your towel again, support yourself on your one leg, place the towel in right there in the crease of the other leg. Now, a couple choices, leaning forward on your elbow on the chair, or if it feels more comfortable, you can be more upright. But bringing it down, bend the standing leg, squeeze the heel right into the buttocks and squeeze the towel. And from here, squeeze, 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 squeeze. Now stop right here. Tuck the tailbone under, and again, squeeze, 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 and hold. Now lift the leg, lift it, lift it. Lift it, making sure you keep that tuck in the tailbone. Let's hold it right here. Re-engage, scoop it under, lift, 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 lift. Really getting that insertion right where the hamstring meets the butt. Up, up, lift it and squeeze. Now squeeze and hold, squeeze and hold, squeeze and hold, squeeze and hold. Beautiful. Hold it here, think about our posture. Tilt under, tuck the pelvis under, of abs in, squeeze and hold, squeeze and hold, squeeze and hold. Give me four more. Really engage it, don't drop it down. Everything is up, accent up, and hold. Take that leg down, take the towel out, and let's switch sides. So what I want you to do is put the, put the towel right in the crease of the opposite leg, bend your standing leg, Tip the pelvis under, take the, the arms right down to the chair, and now lift that leg up and lift it up. And now squeeze and squeeze the heel into the buttocks. Squeeze and hold, squeeze and hold. Abs are lifted, squeeze and hold, squeeze and hold. You're almost there. Really work in the back of the leg. Thinking that beautiful sweep that comes down the back of your leg, and right now squeeze and hold it from here. Lift it up, lift it up and hold. Lift it up and hold. Don't release the tuck. Lift it up and hold. Tuck the pelvis under. Lift it up and hold. Lift it up and hold. Lift it up and hold. Keep it at the top. Hold it there, hold it there. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. And release it in. Okay, let's turn our chairs around. We don't need our towel right now. Let's drop down to our mat. And from here, I want you to put your heels right on the seat of your chair. Scoot your legs so that the hips are slightly behind your thighs. And now from here, lift the hips off the mat and take it up and lower it down. And we're working the back of the leg right now. You can just feel it as you pull up. But remember, we're digging our heels into the seat. You're not trying to squeeze the buttocks. You're trying to dig the heels into the seat. So lift it up. If you want a more advanced version, and this is tough, so you might even want to try a few. Take one leg up and lift it up and up and up. Give me two more. Last one, switch sides. Keep those knees together as you lift. And lift, almost there. Oh, this works so good. I love this move. Take it up, both heels come down. Let's finish off those hamstrings. Up, we're almost done with this. Abs are lifted. You're scooping, you're lifting, you're engaging the back of those thighs. Hold it up there, now at the top. And small lifts, 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 lifts. 10 more, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Perfect timing. It's time to stretch it out. Just put, press your chair away. And from here, grab onto your towel. Take your towel around the ball of your foot. And now straighten out that bottom leg. And pull the leg towards your chest. Just hold it there. If you want, release it a little bit and then pull it back in again. Grab onto the towel and now open up the legs and take them out to the side. 
making sure you keep your hips square on the floor. Hips are squared, releasing that, pulling, bending the elbow to just pull the towel, pull the towel closer to you. And breathe, inhale, and as you exhale, grab on, switch hands, keeping your shoulder down, arm extended, drop your leg to the other side. But the key is, is to keep the hip squared, not to release it. When you keep it squared, you feel a nice stretch to the side of your leg, just where you really need it. Come back to center, drop that foot over the opposite foot, and now, Threading the needle, coming through your legs, grab onto your thigh, pull that thigh towards your chest. The foot is flexed, the knee is open. For some people, this is enough of a stretch. For others, you wanna pull it right into your chest and feel a deep stretch in your outer thigh. Okay, let's switch sides. Take your towel, put it on the ball of your foot, and let's repeat all the stretches on the other side. Straighten out the bottom leg, straighten out the top leg, and pull it toward your chest. As you exhale, open up that leg to the side, counterbalance by extending your other arm, hips are squared off, and remember, everybody's flexible, has different flexibility, has different range of motion, and every single day is different. Some days I feel very open and some days I feel very tight. So listen to your body. Come across and stretch it out. Keeping your opposite shoulder on the floor. Keeping those hips squared off to get the outside of the thigh. Come on back. Drop your towel and drop the leg over the opposite leg. And once again, pulling the knees in, making sure the foot is flexed, making sure the knee is open. And for that yummy, 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 yummy stretch, pull it even further, I love it. Nothing better than working your legs really hard and then stretching them out. Feels so, so wonderful. Okay, release the legs, full body stretch, legs go down all the way top of the toes, tip of the toes, to the tip of the fingers. Pull it in, pull the knees to the chest. And now take it to the side, push yourself up. And from here, let's just go into a wide second position. And let's just take it over and stretch out one side. Come back to center. And let's stretch out the other side. Come back to center, just cross the legs. Just fold over. Mmm, that feels great. Great leg lift. Can't wait to do it again tomorrow.